today we're working on black cod and all the steps in processing it and just showing everyone how it's done right from start to finish. I discovered a long time ago how much I love working on fish and how, you know, I love hanging around my friend and it's just something that we do that we really, a time when you can really enjoy being together and just being First Nations, just doing what we do. It must be ancestral or something. I can't figure out why we love it so much. We work during the day, so it's like afternoon. We finally get to work on fish and, and we love it. Turn on the music and enjoy each other's company. And uh, just sometimes it's the only First Nations thing you get to do in a day. So it really does feel good. With these, it's always good to have one of these good gloves on because this is a, a, a kind of a sharp, scaly fish sometimes, eh? You need a sharp knife always when you're finning. Otherwise, you'll take too big a chunks of the meat off. And basically, you're just getting rid of all the fins. How many fish have we done this year already? A couple hundred. Yeah, we've hundred. done probably like 300, I bet you. One day we did, how many did we do that one day? Our record must yeah. be, about, I don't know, 150. 150 in one day we did, a few years ago. Just cut down the bone, like this. Then I just cut this bone out and leave little bone in. some of the black part off and save this part and put it on skewers also. So the slices in the fish, we cut it so it hangs better and the brine gets into all of the pieces and it's just like way better. I'd rather eat seafood than steak any day. Yeah. I'd like to tell you I'm the same, but I'm not. <laughs> I eat the eyes and the bellies, all my favorite parts, and the cheeks, and just everything. One thing about seafood, though, it sure is, tastes way better when you're sharing it with people. It does. It's funny how the taste just, just gets so much more enjoyable. It does. And then we're just going to put it in the water so we could put it all in together into the mixture so it all goes in the same time. I think the most important thing ever is to have a sharp, sharp knife. knife yeah. You could really get hurt if you have a dull knife and you gotta, uh, you know, just work too hard at it. Yeah. Gloves are important when you're cutting fish too, for the simple reason that the knife slips, it, you know, and if you're like a ninja like me and Jenny, uh, it'll just get the glove, not your skin. Although, Jenny had a good bleed the other day. Yeah. But I'm kind of clumsy. Kind of tough putting on a small glove. Come on. Holy man, why did I even torture myself? I should have put a black one on. Ooh. <laughs> No. Hell with this. Let's <laughs> get the black ones. The black ones fit me better. This is a brine I'm putting in. It's a mixture of salt, brown sugar, and cucumin. And then you just add enough water to cover the fish. Just make sure to dissolve the sugar and salt. I'm going to put the first batch in. I'm going to do two batches. And I'm just going to put them in here to the brine. And we leave it for 
I'm gonna leave it for like an hour and a half just to make it sure it's good in brine. And I think that is good for the first batch. So I'm just gonna leave that and I'll keep mixing it up. And then when we put it over like this on the stick, and then when it dries out a bit, I'll hang it like this. And they smoke perfect. We hang it up to drip dry. So we let it drip dry for 15 minutes and then we'll hang it up in the smokehouse and let it smoke for, in this case, probably a couple of days. So before I hang it in the smokehouse, I'm turning it this way just to make sure it doesn't break off because it's happened before. So I'm going to do this till tonight or something and then I'll hang it up by the tail again. So we just do it like this and then it goes straight in the smokehouse. So that's the last of the process and then it goes into the smokehouse Okay, this is a great smokehouse. It goes like for freaking 18 hours. I could put wood in at 7 at night and 10 o'clock in the morning it'll still be going. It, uh, we use alder and I just open it up and add more wood and it just keeps going and going and going. So it like never goes out. It's an amazing smokehouse. And it's all black here because I almost burnt it down. <laughs> my second one, my first one's there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you make a lot of mistakes along the way, but after a while you get kind of good at it. And uh, so if you're young and you're just starting working on fish, um, you know, and it doesn't look as good as the old pros, just know that that's just like anything else. It comes with time and you, you do, pretty soon you'll be a pro too. Yep, I'm not saying we're pros, but we're close. We're pretty good. We're so close. I think we're pretty close to being pros. <laughs> Cheers, kid. To a good day. To a good day. <laughs>